Okay, so I wanted to talk about ball striking and the reason why I want to talk about this video is because I'm seeing again a, a very similar trend in some recent students that I'm working with that have reached out for help online. And I'm pretty sure this is going to be a, a common thread for, for most golfers and, and maybe particularly for golfers who are also sort of getting on a little bit and the range of motion isn't quite there. So what we need to do to get good at consistent contact is, well, to oversimplify, is have the ability to hit the ground in the same place each and every time. But that's very simple and potentially easy done, so then the question is, well, why can't you do that? And the answer really comes a lot down to actually the backswing, not so much the downswing. And what tends to happen with most golfers that I've seen is this sort of tendency of coming up and out of posture. So. What I've been doing with these students recently is two exercises, or, or one put together, which I'm gonna share with you as well, which I'm hoping will be really beneficial. So the first thing that we have to do is we have to get a better feeling of how do you create a backswing. So we don't wanna kinda, of, we wanna get out of this habit of moving too much over towards your trail side. And if you kinda of look around my shoulders, getting a little bit sort of too rounded with the shoulders and lacking width, we wanna change that narrative. So the drill that I get golfers to do is put your hands together. It's a bit like a windmill drill. And all you're gonna do is you're gonna keep your lead hand in your sort of address position, and then you're just gonna bring your trail hand behind your head. And you're just gonna do this, like so. And all this is doing is this is just helping you get more of a sense of sort of opening your chest and theoretically producing what's known as a bit more sort of thoracic extension. So it's reducing this type of motion and it's encouraging you to open up a little bit more, like so. Now, I'm quite a strong believer in the backswing that you want to use your trail hand to help you lift the club up. I think actually generating a bit of speed in the backswing and getting that feeling of lifting the club up is actually a really helpful feeling to have because it does tend to open up the chest a little bit more. It does make you a little bit more streamlined and actually a little more functional with the club. So again, if you're somebody who has a tendency, oops, who kind of moves, a little under plane and this way actually if you start just thinking about lifting that club up you'll probably find that club will start to behave itself and and operate a lot better so that's the first part but again if we're talking about ball striking and we just get this feeling of opening up the chest you know then what's the possible chance you can still should we say get this feeling of moving too much over to the trail side so the way that we combat that is I then get golfers to move a little to their lead side in the backswing, particularly, should we say, more with the, the lower or the body. So then the drill goes from just looking like this to this, okay? Now there's one last little secret ingredient here to ball striking, and this is an element of reality for some golfers and an element of exaggeration. It's acceptable and potentially desirable to try and keep your head as still as you can throughout the golf swing, would make sense but it's also inevitable that it's gonna move. And we see varieties with professional golfers. Myself, for example, loses height in the backswing position. And we see differences. And the reason for this is because we can move around. We can move from side to side around the spine. And as the sort of hips move around and the pelvis moves around, the likelihood is that your head might not stay perfectly still. But what we don't wanna be doing is gaining height, which is this. So when you're doing this exercise, you're just getting that feeling for opening up the chest. And then as you start to incorporate this feeling of moving the pelvis to the left, when you're doing this, there's two things that I'd suggest. It's acceptable to get a feeling that your pelvis is lowering down, which means that your head, you can feel, get a sense that your head's gonna drop down slightly. Fine. Keep that trail leg a little bit flexed, keeps a little bit of weight underneath that trail side, stops you getting too lead sided. And then from there, that's a nice backswing feeling which will then turn into backswing, using that trial hand to lift that club up a little bit more, get you out of these sort of habits like so, starts getting you a little more this way. And then as you're doing it, you can start to get that feeling of moving progressively to that lead side, but also that sense of lowering in the backswing gives you confidence to push up and through the ball. Which again, for our golfers that move this way, their first tendency is, back to the ball. When you start moving this way, this is gonna bring those steepening tendencies into your game. When you start moving more this way, 
then you can get that feeling of kind of getting up through the ball, which promotes much more of a shallowing tendency of the golf club. And you're going to see that in an upcoming video as well. That I'm going to be putting out in a couple of days on driver. So make sure you watch out for that one as well. Work on the drill. Get that sort of feeling of opening up the chest. Promise you it'll make a big, big difference. See you guys again really soon.